Welcome back to Inside Boxing's Throwdown. I'm Aurelio Martinez, Stephen Johnson, and uh, Stephen, in this episode, we're going to talk about what we can look forward to this, this coming week, this coming weekend. And of course, we got uh, the, uh, the Olympic uh, trial starting in, in Reno. So uh, let's talk about and let's let everybody know what we can look forward to this, uh, this weekend. Okay, well, as you, uh, you people all know, and Aurelio, you know well too, we have starting today, actually, in Reno, Nevada. Um, the 2016 men's Olymp USA Olympic Boxing Trials. Um, we'll have uh, 10 weight categories. The only real controversy we have is about the more lightweight um, 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 Cabalos. I can't remember what his name is exactly, but uh, that kid, he was... Balderas. Balderas, Carlos Balderas. Balderas yeah. Yes, he was designated for a spot um, with, the, um, with his participation in the uh, WSB. So he basically got the free ride. Well, not the free ride. He earned it. He earned it. But anyway, all the rest of the weight categories, they're going to battle it out to see who gets uh, to be part of Team USA to advance to the international competition that will allow them then to head on to um, the uh, Olympics in Reno, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 2016. Um, this coming up, coming this week, starting on December the 8th on Fox uh, Sports 1, Juan Dominguez and NFL Vicente, 10 rounds for featherweights, Keith Tapia, Garrett Wilson, Cruiserweights, but on Friday, um, San Juan, Puerto Rico, on True TV, and I know a lot of mm -hmm. you don't get True TV, but you might want to check out this one. Yeah. The young kid Felix Verdejo, um, lightweight, takes on Joseph Mil Joseph Nilsson, Dos Santos, ten rounds. Um, but but the white fight everyone I'm sure will be wanting to see is where we have Nonito Denaire and Hazar Juarez, where they fight twelve rounds for the vacant WBO Junior Featherweight title. I'll be done in Houston, Texas. On Showtime on Friday night, also, we have uh, Reggie Progre versus Abel Ramos, 10 rounds, junior welterweights, and Brian Cruz versus Wesley Ferrer, 8 rounds, lightweights. Before I talk about the Saturday fights, because I don't want get, to get too much away from it, let's talk about the Friday fights a little bit. Um, Verdejo, I know everyone's high on him. I would expect him to do well. I do what do too. you think about Nonito Donaire um, in, in this fight in Puerto Rico, fight taken on uh, Cesar Juarez? You know... It seems like Nolito uh, is holding on, or, or tr uh, trying to hold down. But for all practical purposes, he's kind of fell off. He's he's now become one of them fighters that that um, uh, that time has come and passed. Okay, yeah. uh, and he's trying to hold on, and 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 it's very difficult for a fighter to try to hold on uh, that way because uh, boxing is a very short career. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when it's over, you have to acknowledge that it's over, okay? Um, maybe he feels he can come back and make, make some big money, but, you know, when he when he took that beating from uh, Walter... Um, X-Man. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, he uh, He's never been the same. He'd never been the same, and at first I thought, you know, that is it Walter or Walters? Walter. Okay. Uh, I figured... X-Man Walters. You're talking about the X-Man. Walter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm figuring uh, uh, I, I kind of liked him, you know, and then he came back and, and, and got beat. So obviously this goes back to the Nonito Donaire is, is he's, he's diminished as a boxer. He's diminished, and, and, and uh, I don't see it coming back. I mean, you don't, you don't just get it back. You have it, you make your championship, you make your reign, and when it's diminished, it's gone. Well, so, you know, what's amazing yeah. is, like you said, one year. That yeah. one year that he shelved himself, actually his wife shelved him, yeah. shelved him with that controversy with uh, uh, Top Rank and Bob Arum where he decided that, you know, he was going to go off with Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Um, that, once again, Oscar the Thief is what we should call him. You know, he tried it again. He tried it with Manny Pacquiao and he tried it with Nonito Donaire, but Nonito Donaire. But in this case, that one year off with Donaire, and he actually ended up coming back and signing with Top Rank, which he should have never left. Yeah. But anyway, that one year off just... Put, change his whole life. Well, well, what it does, and that's 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 part of the problems with boxing. But like we talked about before, when you're a professional boxer, you need to realize what you do. You sign with someone like uh, Top Rank or or Golden Boy or anyone. When you sign the contract, understand what you're signing, and you you better you better stick to it because these uh, uh, promoters. When you talk about promoters on that high level, they'll they'll. They'll sit you down, and they'll they'll not only ruin your career, they'll end the career. Uh, let's talk about Mikey Garcia. Yeah. Mikey Garcia. It's a shame that they took that talent away from the boxing fans because Mikey 
uh, had had a future. He was up there. He was entertaining. People loved him. But let me tell you what, he's another one that's going to come back not the same. You just can. I mean, and it's not over with. He's still shelved. And, and, and you know, uh, Bob Arum says, no, we, we got a legal agreement and you're going to you're going to sit on the sideline until we hammer this out. And they're not going to beat Bob Aaron. No, nope, not going to beat him. And, okay, so, and, and, and so, I agree with you 100% on that. So, Nonito, I, I think he's, I think he has to just figure out that, hey, boxing's over. Um, um, I don't think there's any big fights for him to make that big money that he's looking for. So, uh, um, plan for your future. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Um, Saturday, two fight cards that um, you're really going to want to check out. Um, the first one is going to be on... Uh, 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 NBC Sports on Saturday, we, we, we premier boxing champions. Um, Omar Figueroa and Antonio DeMarco, 10 rounds junior welterweights. Dominique Brazil versus Charles Martin, 10 round heavyweights. Chris Areola versus Travis Kaufman, 10 round heavyweights. Also on that card, Victor Ortiz versus Orlando Laura, 10 round welterweight. And Terrell Gosha, um, uh, former you know USA boxing um, <laughs> kid, versus Saeed El Harak, 10 round middleweights. Um, that fight card. It's going to be interesting to what ones they decide they're going to show, where they're, they're going to televise, because we know automatically yeah. Figueroa and DeMarco is going to show. Um, I don't know about Victor Ortiz, Dominique, Dominique Brazil, you know, in a heavyweight, upcoming heavyweight. They'll probably show that one. We'll have to wait and see how it is. Terrell Gasha, another <laughs> upcoming fighter. So basically, you know, this so basically, fight card is loaded with guys that are, you know, other than the Chris Ariola fight, um, these other four cards... You know, um, <laughs> but but on the same on the other side of the equation, we got a bunch of people that their time is coming gone. We talked about you know, Donier, we talked about Chris, Chris Arreola, we talked about Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz. But I mean, the other three on there, they're yeah. on the way up. Okay, yeah. but more important, let's get to because I want to make sure we have enough time to talk about this. In London, okay, in the main event you're going to have Anthony Joshua versus Dylan White, twelve rounds for Joshua's common weight and vacant British heavyweight titles. Um, the importance of this fight is that most people, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to yet, but you need to go to YouTube and get a chance to watch Anthony Joshua. Most people, um, especially since Tyson Fury is also from England and you have Anthony Joshua, most people feel that Anthony Joshua will destroy uh, uh, Tyson Fury. Mm. And I happen to be one of those. I feel the same way. We've also got another guy that I feel will destroy him, Pauli Malinaji. Also, before I get even, don't forget, on that undercard also, Giancarlo Bronco fights Pauli Malinaji, 12 rounds for Bronco's European welterweight title. Talk another about, guy, <laughs> another guy that, uh, okay. He can't let it go. He just can't let it go. <clears throat> and uh, Pauli, we, we're friends and stuff, and we know each other. Um, but Go out and get your money, man. <clears throat> go out and get your money. All right, that's all I can say, you know. Uh, just don't get hurt, my brother. <laughs> yeah. And Polly Swan, I don't know, uh, uh, but th there again. So now we got we got Polly to add to that. Victor Ortiz and uh, 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 Ariola and, and uh, well, Ariola. Well, since we got that, another, let me give you another one that's going to be in London. Uh, Kevin Mitchell, <clears throat> you know that name. Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell versus Ismael Barosa. Twelve rounds for the vacant WBA interim, and it's for a title. Lightweight title. Yes, the WBA WBA interim lightweight title. <clears throat> Kevin Mitchell is another one that, that can't go away, you know. But there's some possibilities for that if it goes on. I'll tell you one of the fights that's on there that, that, that most people won't care about it, won't be televised or anything. But this kid, um, the, for the vacant European cruiserweight title, Tony Ballou versus Matus Masternak, 12 rounds. You know, mm -hmm. Tony Ballou is, is, is a good, good quality, quality fighter, but once again, he's in the cruiserweight yeah. Uh, division. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Kind but of Anthony way. Joshua... In London on um, this coming Saturday night, man, if you want to see a fight, and I don't expect this to last long, um, but if you want to see somebody that um, Tyson Fury will definitely stay away from, just watch that fight card. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Listen, fights to come up this weekend, so uh, enjoy your boxing this weekend. And until next week when we come back and recap and uh, uh, see which one of the old guys uh, uh, <laughs> may have made it or whatever the case may be. We don't know, but we'll tend to definitely be here to talk about it. And, of course, the young guys, and and, uh, and we'll have another feature story that we're going to talk about uh, with the current events. Okay? Exactly. So until then, guys, keep them hands up. Keep All them right? up, baby.